watching. Welcome to video four in this bright lip mini series. Today I am doing all my others. So I've got lip tars, some stains, just all my other kind of like lip products that are bright that I love for summer. And the first two I'm going to talk about are glosses. And if you watch my channel for any period of time or you know me really well, you know that I'm not a big fan of gloss. I don't wear a lot of lip gloss. I just don't like the way it looks or feels. However, for two lip glosses and both from the same line to make their way into this video, that should tell you something. So the first one is the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Le Gloss. Well, they're both the Color Riche Le Glosses. This one is in the color Rosy Demeanor. This one is a beautiful kind of light corally pink. It is what I'm wearing right now. I'm not wearing anything underneath this. This is just straight this lip gloss on my lips. I love the way these feel. They don't feel sticky. They do have a lot of really nice color to them and they actually last a good like two to four hours depending on what you're doing. I really love the formulation of these. The second one from L'Oreal Color Riche Le Gloss line is Berry Chic. This one you can tell is a lot more pigmented. It's a lot brighter. It's a beautiful kind of bright hot pink. And I'm telling you guys, these lip glosses have some serious pigmentation behind them. And they're super comfortable to wear. So smooth and creamy, I just love them. These are like a must have. The Le Gloss line is really good. So the next two colors I'm gonna talk about are both from the Rimmel Apocalypse line. The first one is Stellar. These are stunning. For anyone who doesn't know what these are, these are basically like liquid lipsticks. So this is Stellar on my lips. I forget how much I love this color. It is the most gorgeous ready pink. It's stunning. These do have kind of an off-putting smell, which I'm not a super huge fan of, but the color and the payoff and the longevity of these is amazing, so I kind of put up with it. The next one is Apocalyptic, which is like the signature color in the line. It is a gorgeous, really bright hot pink. So that is Apoc Apocalyptic. Definitely very different from Stellar. I was actually trying not to swatch any more on my hand today because it's kind of flaring up already and I just cleared it up. But I really want to show you guys the difference between these two because one is definitely more of like a brighty, corally red pink and then the other one is like a hot pink. So that is Stellar and that is Apocalyptic. And that is Apocalyptic on my lips. These remind me a lot of like the OCC lip charts but just in an easier like doe foot form. Speaking of the OCC lip charts, I actually pulled three, which is a little crazy, but these are three that I definitely wear all the time. So the first one is Queen, and Queen is a beautiful, bright, medium pink color. That's what it looks like on the lips. It's stunning. Again, I'm not going to swatch on this hand because it's already flaring up again, but I will give you guys a really in-depth look of Queen on my lips. Queen is a gorgeous, everyday, bright pink pink colored lipstick. I love this. Queen is just such a wearable everyday lipstick. It's bright but it's not like super crazy in your face. I absolutely love it. So the next color is leaning more into the coral family and that is Trollop. Trollop is a beautiful bright coral color from OCC. This one actually looks better on medium to dark skin tones. On me it does actually kind of pale me out a little bit more than I like. But I really love the color and the texture of this one. So that's Trollop. So the next one is definitely something a little bit different. This is something I wear more for special occasions, but this is Yayo, Y-A-I-O-I. -I. It is a beautiful, bright pink, kind of like Candy Yum Yum, but it has a gorgeous silver and metallic to it. It's beautiful on the lips, but it does require a certain eye look. One I'm wearing today, not so good. I would wear this more with a neutral, dark, smoky eye and then let my lips really pop. Now I have glitter on my lips. I should have thought about that before. The next two are two of the Fergie Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stains. The first one is in Voguing Madness, which is a beautiful bright coral color. So that is Voguing Madness. It is a beautiful kind of bright pinky coral color. These do stain fairly quickly. I know that I can already feel it setting. When I go to take this off, I'm going to have a hard time. But this is one of my favorite colors so far this spring slash summer. It's so easy to apply and then leave on all day. So this is a high recommend. And the next one from the Wet n Wild Vicious, Vicious Varnish High Shine Lip Stain is Ball in Vienna, which is a gorgeous kind of hot pink. These go on almost like a gel. They have a cooling feeling and they kind of feel like very slick and they dry to a matte. It's really beautiful. And so I saved this one for last because it is my current favorite formula for others. It is the new Milani Lip Intense Liquid 
colors. These are amazing. This one is Fiery Coral. It is my favorite. These have the coolest little doe foot applicator. I'm going to go ahead and apply it. So that is Fiery Coral on my lips. The reason why I am loving this one, just this formulation in general, is it's so smooth, so creamy, goes on like a dream, and within about, I would say, five minutes or so, it actually does set and then become a stain. They don't claim that it does that, but it does. Trust me, all three of the colors that I own, I own everyone except for the purple, have officially stained my lips. This one is a beautiful, bright pink coral color. I absolutely love it. It's stunning. This is a must-have for summer. That is it. That's all for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the drugstore coral and the drugstore pink because they will be coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.